Good day to you all, our viewers. My name, as usual, is Pastor Kola. I'm talking to you from Madurai Farms in Ibadan, in Nigeria. I'm a pastor, missionary, I'm a snail expert, and uh, a snail farmer. I want to talk to you today on foods and feeding of snails. Foods and feeding of snails. You must have watched my, some of my other videos. Please kindly subscribe so that many other videos will be uploaded uh, to your system. As I said, we're talking today on foods and feeding of snails. One of the reasons why snail rearing is very highly profitable is because it's very, very cheap to feed uh, snails. Uh, livestock production and other production of other animals like goats, cows, pigs, uh, people say 70% of the cost goes on feeding. However, for snail rearing, I can assure you it may not be up to 5% because the food is almost free to get. Snails are vegetarians. They feed mainly on vegetables and fruits. And these ones you can source from uh, markets at uh, no, no cost. You can go to markets and you can take their leftover vegetables and leftover fruits. I want to show you here some of these fruits. Can you see this uh, bucket of carrots, leftover carrots? We got it free of charge. You can see how much it is and fresh. We got all this free of charge. It's leftover from the markets. You can also see some uh, uh, watermelon here. We can also be gotten from the markets. Uh, generally, we can classify food uh, foods of snails to these two or three. Number one, date leaves. These leaves like uh, cocoa yam leaves, uh, you know, purple leaves, ugu, vegetables, and all sort of uh, leaves. Also, number two, they eat fruits. You can give them purple fruits. You can give them carrots, just like you saw over there. You can give them mango. You can give them cucumber, lettuce, they eat fruits, yam peels, uh, potato peels. Can you see that these things that are many of these things are free, which you can use to feed your snails? Also, the third then, type of food they eat is uh, uh, concentrate. That is the food you prepare, like if you. You are preparing, you know, feed for your uh, poultry. They eat this too, but it's minimal. So you have snails feed also, or you can use poultry feed. Uh, but this is minimal, just to enhance their growth and then um, uh, their reproduction to to fasten it. For instance, to from my own experience. 200 snails can eat just a 25 kg uh, kilogram of uh, companion feed in two months. You can see how cheap. You cannot use that to feed 200 birds or poultry birds in one week. Here you see um, a snail pen. I told you when I draw little farms. And uh, when you want to give them fruits, you just. Uh, you just put the if the food want to serve them, you just put the fruits inside their feeding trough. You should have feeding trough and water trough. Can you see? At times when I'm giving them food, apart from putting it here, at times I also uh, replace it here. At times, I also scatter some inside their pens. Normally, uh, snakes, they are inactive during the day. You will not believe that there are snakes inside this pen. We have not less than 40, little over 40 snakes inside this pen. And you hardly see anyone outside because this is noon. 
But immediately it is sunset, you see them coming out of their of the leaves that we put there. They are nocturnal animals. They do they feed at nights. So when you do that, you know, put uh, the water trough is there. And now give them water inside the water trough to take. Snakes drink a lot of water. But when you want to feed them with um, with um, uh, with concentrates, this is what is done. With concentrates, you will mix it with a little water. You take your concentrate. You make sure the the feeding trough is clean. Always for hygiene's sake, always clean your feeding trough. And then this is already compounded uh, feed. You now use your hand. It will pour just one and two. Can you imagine? Just two. It's enough for more than 40 snails. They might even finish this in a day. And then you mix it with a little water to turn into mash. So be a little bit more mashy. And then um, you place it inside the truck. All these feeding activities should take place between 5 and 7 p.m. You can see you can see them now. This arrives just 4 p.m. So you should start your to do this from five to seven p.m. So uh, in daily hours, uh, so on sunset around seven, we see them coming out to eat their food and to take their water. It's very very easy to rear snakes and very cheap to rear snakes. You must make sure that their food is balanced with carbohydrate, with protein, with vitamins, and also once in a while you should give them calcium supplements. This will now uh, this will enhance share development and also their reproduction abilities for more uh, information you can contact us on the number on your screen we can help you in various ways number one we can train you on you need proper training don't just rush into it we can train you on snaring and uh, for a small fee Either you come to our farm physically in the bottom here, or we can train you on WhatsApp or other, through other social medias that's online. Then number two, we can help you set up your 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 farm, your snail farm as our as experts on the very very with my very minimal fee. Number three, we can supply you high breed snails at reasonable cost. Snails that can be producing, that can be mature within six to seven months. That begin to reproduce also, as opposed to traditional snakes that mature between one and a half to two years. And then number four, we can come to train people in your churches, in your religious houses, in your organizations, in their cooperatives or wherever. Just give us a call and we'll oblige you. Don't forget, start rearing snakes. It's one of the most uh, profitable venture I've ever seen. And at the back of your house, just a little space. And with a little time, just 15 to 20 minutes a day, you can become a millionaire within a year. God bless you.